What's going on guys? Welcome to Civilization 6. Today we're doing uh, something a little bit different from what I usually do. Uh, instead of just playing a normal game, I'm going to try my hand at one of these scenarios that are actually included uh, with the game. Uh, there's total of three right now, which isn't very much, and um, I looked over the, the possible scenarios. I think uh, the first one was the Viking one, then they came with the Polish one, and now there's one for Australia as well. Um, but looking at the different types of things that you do in them, I thought that starting as the, um, the Polish one would be interesting. Basically, uh, what it says, can we read that? In this 60 turn scenario, you stand at the crossroads of Europe, protecting the fertile Polish homelands from a constant barraging of invaders from all directions. Rally your winged hussars and face off against Teutonic Knights and Ottoman Turks as you grow your civilization. The player with best empire by standard scoring at the end of the game is the winner. Uh, that sounds really interesting. I've actually never tried a scenario uh, in any Civ game. So I have no idea what I'm going to get myself into. Uh, there's three different choices as to who you want to play. Uh, they're basically identical, except um, one of them gets a second pikeman every time you train one. Uh, the other one gets a second builder or military engineer. And the other one gets a second knight or winged hussar. Uh, well, this one also has uh, class sex as a second unique unit. Which is pretty cool. I'm not sure we need that. And honestly, I really like the builder one. So we're just going to try out uh, Jadwiga's Legacy. Uh, I chose to start on King difficulty because I don't want to make it too difficult on myself. I have no idea how hard these things are. So um, we're going to give it a go. We're going to see uh, where we end up. Let's go. I have no idea. It's obviously going to be very different from a... From a normal game? Is there even a narration for this? I don't know. Apparently not. Yours is a united nation, fusing the Kingdom of Poland and the Grand Duchy of Lithuania into a whole greater, greater than the sum of its parts. You are a shining beacon amidst the chaos of Europe with your elected monarch, religious tolerance, and extensive legal rights shared by your magnates. But bright lights attract unwanted attention. Can you maintain the union you worked so hard to accomplish in the face of in intractable foes? Uh, there we go. Now let's see who we're up against. Like I said, it's probably very, very different from your usual uh, game, and it definitely is. Alright, so right off the bat, we can see whoever that is. Uh, we can see Polish nobility. Alright, Volinian nobility, and then we are Lithuanian nobility, apparently. Uh, we can see most of the map from the get-go. This is very strange to me. I guess the first thing we should do is pick a place to settle. So do we want to settle here or here? Let's see, that's two, three. I don't think it really matters too much. Um, I guess I'm just going to settle in the forests just so that we can... Um, is that smart, though? Because we're going to be slightly further away from uh, interesting resources like the cattle and the sheep. I'm just going to settle right here. Vilnius has just been settled, boy. Alright, so next up we got to figure out a second spot to settle. Obviously, we want to grab something... Um, so let's see. Probably around here. I'm seeing some good resources there. So instantly, we're going to, to run over there to take care of that. Uh, so you start off with a city that has... Alright, it's actually quite large already. We got a free monument palace, granary, ancient walls. Which isn't too much. But at least it's something. We got to choose a pantheon. City growth rate is higher. Board expansion. Increased healing by your holy site. Production from marsh, oasis, and floodplains. Uh, considering there's a lot of that over there... Plus one production. That's going to be insane if we settle down there. I'm going to do, go with that. Lady of the Reeds and Marshes. We're actually going to settle down here instead of over there. Because this is going to be insane with our uh, Pantheon. Uh, we can also have a trait route. Uh, we're supposed to trigger a... Wait, Vienna. Where is Vienna? That's Vienna. Prague. Gdansk. It's going to be Poland, right? Uh, Alright, so trigger Eureka for printing, for metal casting, and send a trait route to Gdansk. Alright, we've met their representatives, but obviously they don't actually have a um, 
a city yet, so that'll probably take a turn for them to settle, I'm guessing. And apparently our production's already uh, really, really quick off the bat, so let's go ahead and just grab that extra settler so we can send him down here. Sort of settle that land. I'm gonna send this guy down there and this guy up here. Because I want to know exactly what's in that fog of war. Please let me get rid of you. Thank you. I hate how these things bug out. Alright, so... We already start off with a bunch of research up into the uh, Renaissance era. So how long would it take for us? 27 turns. Alright, we definitely want to boost our... Build an aqueduct. Uh, we definitely want to boost our... Science and culture by a lot, I'm guessing. We only have 60 turns to do something here. So let's make it count then. Uh, first civic that we're gonna grab. Honestly, it probably should be Merchant Rep or not Merchant Republic. Wait, what, which one? They kind of changed this around. Uh, mercenaries, just so that we can get our winged hussars. We've got an envoy that we can send to any of these. Um... All right, well, that gold's kind of a no-brainer. No uh, every encampment district. Okay. Trade routes to any city-state provide more gold. I mean, that's pretty good, but I think I'm going to go to Vienna for now because they can give me more um, production when creating units, and that's, that's quite good, too. Uh, our government's currently, I guess, achieved them. Which is, uh, not good. Yeah, I mean, we should obviously be a, a monarchy. And then, alright, let's see. Uh, production or settlers for right now, because we're gonna get one of those soon. Actually, that might not even be worth it, because it's only gonna take us, like, four turns. So actually, yeah, that is not worth it. We don't have any zones or anything quite yet. Production or builders uh, would be... So, probably that one. We need some builders, and we need a few of them. Uh, let's see. Right, we're gonna grab that one, because that's gonna give us uh, another six gold per turn right off the bat, which is quite good. Man, this all looks a bit different, too. Alright, Lithuanian nobility. So, we, we, we really would like, would be... This one's good. General might be nice. I think I'm gonna go with a, um... A great scientist, I think, should be our... Our main thing. So, we'll, we'll grab the scientist one. We'll grab the... Uh, builder one. We're gonna grab the... Right, this one. Extra production. Extra gold from every trait route. Should be okay. But actually, I might want to do that instead. See if we can maybe get that merchant going as well. Uh, let's go with production towards the encampment, because that is going to help us out. Since we are going to have, uh, what is it, Vienna as an ally? And then one more military, probably this one. Yep, we're going to go with that one. And that will be our... Our policies. Alright, so first off the bat, we need to improve some of this stuff around here as well. Let's see what we're working with. Yeah, alright, it's not bad. Uh, I'm thinking we work the stone first of all. Just to grab some extra production. Uh, let's keep the uh, crossbowmen inside of the city and send the pikemen down there. And this guy can't really do anything right now. Alright, so he's gonna stay on alert. Uh, we're currently actually allied with the others, interestingly enough, but we're gonna have to take them out soon enough. Alright, uh, trader, I don't have any orders for you because there's absolutely no one to trade with. Now let's see how everybody settles in. Vienna, Prague, Gdansk, Krakow, and Aust Austro. They got different religions, too. Actually, I don't think I even have a religion, so that doesn't seem super fair, but okay. Uh, we're gonna send, like I said, let's just send this settler down here. 
We're gonna grab this spot right after that because this guy is on his way. Let's grab some gypsum next turn. Okay, I no longer have Vienna. Are you serious? Okay, they just sent everything to Vienna. I mean, fair enough. If that's your strategy, then fine. Apparently, we cannot yet reach any of the others. All right, let's just trade with Austria. And not waste any time there. Just get a bit of, uh, of, of money out of that deal. Okay, that's the, barbar that's the Barbarians. The Teutonic Knights, that's where they were. And they got a pretty big army. I'm guessing the Ottomans are probably like... I don't know, maybe like... They should be down here, right? If we're going by like geography. Yeah, that scout's a goner. I didn't expect them to actually be here right now and also instantly declare war on me. Fair enough, okay. I just realized that possibly we're gonna have to ally ourselves with these people. Go. You go as well. Alright, get me some of that gypsum. Guess, you know, next turn. Uh, this guy's gonna have to go over there because we got some knights staring at me. Oh boy. And now they know where my city is. Alright, so we're gonna send this uh, settler down there. Yeah, if I settle there, that would be very, very dangerous. I might actually do it. But still. Now, considering how many enemies we've got at the gates, I think our, our very first thing we should probably do would be to grab either the encampment, which I think is a good idea, so I'm just going to grab that right over there. And then we got to start churning out some units real fast. Alright, that's a bit of extra production right there. Crossbowman is going to stand over there. So that if the scout sticks around, we can shoot him. Alright, they're just a flag. So there's not much of a deal that we can make. Sadly, does the... Uh, or do the, the... What are they called? Amenities actually work. Yes, they do. So those are actually quite well worth uh, having around. Alright. We need to start building a large army. That's like the main thing here. Definitely did not expect to see something quite like this. Uh, luckily, they have to cross the river to actually get to me. How much damage will that do? Tell me. Alright, it's like decent enough. Alright, uh, go for him. Just go retreat into the city and then fire. Let's do that smart. Uh, go to the marshes. Because I will be settling there. This guy should be okay. So let's just grab that extra build and get a mine. Oh, the scout's after me. Go. Let's make sure that nobody's following me. All right, we're good. Yeah, if I would do that, that would be a mistake. So I'm just actually going to stick around here. We could actually go onto that hill. That is a hill, right? Yes, it is. All right. So if he attacks me, he's going to take a pretty... Uh... Oh, boy. Well, we got our encampment out of the way. That's... There's a guy on top of it, though. Did I just shoot? Okay. That worked uh, quite well. All right, hold on. Yeah, wait, well, I see it. We should really focus on one of these. I think it should be this one. Because he's just trying to sneak past, and I don't like it. Like, we gotta actually take some of them down. How much damage does that do? It's actually kind of bugged out now that that guy kind of spawned there. Alright, so with that out of the way... I think we should definitely get... Okay, we can make a pikeman. That would take forever. So would a crossbowman. I guess we could make like a barracks or something, but... I'm not sure how good that would be. A warrior would be terrible. Fine. Get me another crossbowman stat. Do that. We gotta get some hits in here. 
Alright, this guy this guy's gonna have some crazy uh, production. This is dangerous stuff right here. I'm thinking I might actually just settle here. I could go like further over there, but it would be extremely dangerous and Gdansk is currently under attack by the uh, Teutonic Knights, so maybe I can just settle here. Right, we still have like the wine, we got some gypsum, we got some cotton, some stone. I'm gonna settle right here. That, whoa, okay, so apparently we get a free pikeman out of that deal. Uh, let's grab that stone, yep. On board with that, uh, we are currently all Catholic. They, however, are not. Why are we Catholic? When did this happen? I guess we're just supposed to be. Like, we don't, we're not supposed to actually get our own religion, I'm guessing. That's fair enough. Alright, so let's get an academy here as well. Sure, let's grab it over here. That wouldn't be uh, too horrible. Uh, let's see, we gotta take care of that guy too, though. He's just gonna be a pain in my ass. Alright, here we go. Yeah, this, this guy was probably on his way over there himself, and he might try to settle in the marshes now. So we gotta make sure that we do that before he can. We'll probably just settle right here. Or there. Get that grain. Oh, we're gonna have so much food down in the marshes. And then with that religion thing, if that actually works, does it? Apparently... Okay, it's like added to it. I don't know how that works. I mean, I'm okay. Whatever. Fire. Fire. Take him out. Yeah, this guy really needs to come home or he's safe. Because the knights are at my doorstep. All right, can you shoot that guy? Oh, actually, no. Shoot that guy. Alright, so they can just kind of run past him and hope that this guy can heal up. He probably won't be able to and he'll probably get killed, but I think it's worth a try. Alright, so down in the marshes, we're going to settle right there. Alright, this guy was going after the scout. Looks like for now we're safe enough. They're mostly focusing on Gdansk, but there's a lot of, that's a lot of knights over there. All right, go grab me that wine as soon as you can safely. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick around my own my own stuff. I'm not gonna protect uh, whoever they are again, the Polish nobility, because there's really no point I think to me doing that. Okay, there's the Mold Moldavians or Moldavians. I don't even know how to. That doesn't look good. All right, so there's that's the Ottoman. Oh, the Golden Horde is here already. And there's the Russians. Oh my God, this man, this is crazy. All right, this is this is nuts. Um, right, just go over there. Just take care of the knight. I think that should be our our main uh, priority for now. Killing that knight. There we go, he's down. Alright, so there's no more melee units around the city, so we're not in danger of them actually, uh, taking it or anything. Alright, so he's in there, he's safe, he's not gonna die. Alright, we gotta, we gotta get that stupid scout out of here. And now, we actually have a lot of enemies at the gates. Alright, uh, that should be, oh, god, maybe, I don't know. Is that safe? Sure, just go there. We'll see. Maybe have him stick around inside of the city for now, because I'm not even sure that it'll live. Settle. Alright, Nesvias. Nesvizias. That's a great name, by the way. Uh, Alright, so this one's really small, though. I'm guessing they didn't really expect me to make too many... Um, ...cities or something. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Alright, so what I think we should do is focus on growth with this city. Because it's not going to be able to really contribute anything to the defense right now, but as soon as it grows, it's going to start being really, really uh, impressive in, in a lot of different regards. Because of that beautiful food and it got extra production from the marshes. 
If I were to see this in an actual game of Civ, which was like real, not a scenario, I would be losing my mind. All right, pikemen. Grab. All right, so they will not be able to take the city and we really should be trying to take some of them out because they're obviously on their way out right now. I think they've realized that they will not be able to take this city. Let's try and take some of them out. All right, this is bad. Just kill him. All right, grab me some of that cotton. Because that would be nice. Let's go over there. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll take a bit of a hit there. Totally acceptable. All right, not too bad. All right, so it looks like Gdansk is going to be going down quite soon because this is a very, very big group enemy. So as soon as this encampment's done, we're going to be churning out a bunch of units for defense. Nice thing is we don't really have to worry about taking all of them out. All we really got to do is defend ourselves. Make sure we don't lose our city. Vilnius will actually grow next turn. And I guess, like, the person that stays alive the longest wins, which right now is going to be me. Yeah, I guess founding an extra city may have been worth it. Yeah, it's Empire where I have more points, so that's, that's good. All right, let's do it this way. Uh, you do actually do it. Yeah, this guy's going to go down if we don't be careful. So, I want you... This might work. Alright, do that. And then you do that. Alright, he's dead. And then we finish him. And this guy's no longer in danger of being murdered. Great. Alright, yeah. Cities are growing nice and quickly here. Let's take care of these few knights hanging out here. Don't like them, uh... Checking out my, my territory. Oh god, please. I'm going to actually lose this builder. If we cross the river, that might be uh, a lifesaver right there. Alright, so grab me a, I guess a pikeman maybe. Although I love the crossbowmen, so I'm going to get more of those. Alright, you're good. Getting one more there. Alright, they're just growing. Yeah, actually, I respect these choices, although I would probably do that, or actually, that one's good, too. All right, two more turns for that crossbowman. I also like how your cities actually look kind of unique in this uh, scenario. That's cool. All right. Come on, help me out here, Polish nobility. Our fates are now intertwined. Yeah, Gdansk is definitely dead. That's a bummer. But there's nothing I can really do. Alright, so actually they took that builder instead of mine. So I guess I made the right choice here. Shoot that guy. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Alright. Um, gotta get rid of this pesky knight. Because he definitely wants to kill me. Uh, I don't think we can take him out. Nope, that's not going to work. Maybe if you get involved, that that should do the trick, actually. Let's just do it. Like, we're going to take a bit of a, of a, of a hit on our uh, pikeman, but this guy can then shoot and take out the knight. And uh, what's actually worrying me is that we haven't even seen the Ottomans yet. The Golden Horde is currently destroying the uh whatever blah blah nobility what even are you again volinian nobility i don't know who those are though all right you go and heal that probably means that their score is going to start going down real hard uh let's see we got to grab that wine as soon as we can all right so extra crossbowmen is going to be very helpful and basically, we want to keep making units until there's no tomorrow. Or like there's no tomorrow. Because this enemy wave is not looking very friendly. 
All right, so we got a boost to metal casting, which I don't think we already have that, right? Where even? Oh, here it is. All right, so we should be able to make bombards if we do that, but the question is, is that really worth our, our time to research it? I'd say probably not. Sure, let's take you for a ride. Kill this guy. All right, we got a, a free extra... Well, not a free, but we got an extra crossbowman here, which is helpful. Uh, let's get him situated. All right, you're going to have to heal. Absolutely. There we go. And then... All right, so we can make things really, really quickly uh, now in Vilnius. We're going to need more units, though. Absolutely. Just get me that pikeman. We completed a quest for Prague. I don't know what that was, though. Probably having... Or maybe getting a boost for metal casting. That may have been it. Yeah, this guy can't hit anything. So you can just stick around there for now. It's this area that worries me more. If I had known that there were so many enemies hiding out in the fog over there... I uh, definitely would not have settled all the way over here. Also, this city may have been a bit of a mistake because we're really close to now both the uh, Teutonic Order and the Golden Horde. And the Moldavians are, or Mold Moldavians are running around going nuts. Although, so far they haven't really hurt anyone yet. Like, they're mostly just killing troops, apparently. Which is, uh, I guess not a crime. Alright, get you situated on that, on that hill. Uh, let's see. Alright, so let's shoot this guy. This city is really under-defended because all they have is an encampment and a pikeman. Although I have to say, having an encampment in the area is definitely, uh, quite helpful. Cannot get to the wine yet. Alright. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. In the next part, we're going to uh, check out the next couple of turns in this scenario. I have to say, this is actually pretty fun so far. It's like a puzzle that isn't too long, but you really got to figure out what to do. So, um, it's pretty fun. I'm going to continue this in the next part, which we'll see uh, pretty soon. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.